Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're continuing our HTML5 project. On our last video, we added uh, some CSS styling to this picture so that it wasn't so large. We're going to use CSS styling so that the text at the top of our document does not get cut off. CSS is very powerful in that, in that it can style just about anything in your document. But this is going to be complicated because jQuery Mobile is a complicated framework. I'm going to introduce you to a, a tool, however, built into your web browser that will allow you to make changes, preview changes, and uh, really get to editing your, your document. Uh, so I'm using Google Chrome, but you can use any web browser. They all have this tool built in, and these are the development tools. I'm going to maximize my screen for a moment, and then uh, I'm going to right-click my, my header text at the top and we've got inspect element that opens up a brand new screen at the bottom where you have all of your code notice when I highlight a piece of code I just roll over a piece of code it highlights in my main document so different things that I hover over highlight on the main document so this can help me figure out what uh, pieces I need to edit I can also do the opposite where I turn on this little uh, magnifying glass. When I turn that on, I can hover over the design. And when I click on something, it highlights in my code. Well, I want to see how to edit that top text because it has an inherent style. So I've got the item highlighted. It says H3 class UI title, role heading, and other stuff. On the right side, you'll notice all the CSS, the built-in CSS that affects that particular element. Now, it's kind of difficult to read as a beginner, but what it's saying here is there's a dot UI dash header space dot UI dash title comma dot UI dash footer space dot UI dash title so it's saying anything that's a title and in the header or anything that's a title and in the footer control it in the following methods we've got a minimum height a text alignment margins all of that stuff and notice we've got an item that says text overflow ellipses that's why when we're on a mobile sized screen we get the text cut off with the dot dot dot. That's the ellipses. It's saying any text that overflows from our particular size will get, first of all, overflow hidden, and second, will be replaced with dots. What's happening is that the container at the top of our document is a bit smaller than the text that we want, and that's found under margin. So if we look at where it says margin 30% and change that to, for example, 10%, do you notice that right away the top, the top changes? I can even click on a property and click the up and down buttons or up and down keys. See what happens with a larger margin, smaller margin. I'll leave it on 15. That's very cool. So this is the development tool of the web browser. Here's what I can also do. Anything that's existent, I can uh, change. But if something doesn't exist, I can add it just by clicking at the end of the block of code. Now I've got a brand new line. Watch this. I'll start typing color. And then it knows, OK, do you mean color, color profile, color rendering? I mean plain old color. Press tab. It says, okay, what color? And it lists a bunch of colors. I can select blue, press enter, and now my text has become blue. I can select any color listed here, dark sea green, press enter, and now it's dark sea green. I can type my own colors, pink, enter, and it's pink. So this is uh, a very powerful tool in web design, web development, app development, even the element inspector or the de or the development tools of your web browser. All the modern web browsers have something like this built in. Try to right click and select inspect element or development tools.
And what you're able to do here is quickly and easily make changes to your project and preview them. How do, how do they look if I make these changes? Maybe I do want pink text. Maybe I want to change my top bar color. You have to select the right element and then kind of become a bit of a detective and figure out, well, where do I go to change uh, to change color, perhaps? And some are easier to change than others, but um, for example, I, change, I tried to add a background color there, it didn't change. It's going to be changed elsewhere, but this tool is going to help us then to find, uh, to figure out the pieces of the of the project and make changes. Maybe it's here, UI bar A, and it's got a background, background color. Let's go with red. Nope, that didn't change, so it's gonna be someplace else. Background image, hmm. Got a linear gradient. Let's change some of these colors. So there we go. So what are we doing? We are using the element inspector to figure out what we need to change in the CSS so that we can get our own design. And this is saying in your jQuery mobile file line 3, this is where you can change this. Well, we're getting the knowledge, but how do we actually apply it? Because what we've done here is not permanent. If I refresh, it goes back to normal. All the changes that I made were not saved. This is just a tool to help me figure out what I need to do. The next step is after I figure out what I need to do, I need to implement it. So here's what we need to do. I figured out that under UI-header, UI-title, I can set my margin so that my text doesn't get cut off. So I'm going to go back to my I'm going to go back to Notepad, back to my CSS file. So far I've set a medium image rule. Now based on my sleuthing, I've figured out that now I need to create a new rule dot UI dash header space dot UI dash title. Okay, dot UI dash header space dot UI dash title. Why are we using these particular names? That's the names that are used in jQuery mobile and we figure that out by using the element inspector. Right click inspect element. Um, and we confirm that by changing by changing our properties here. See that? I'm going to turn that off. So I've created a rule and I'm going to define it. Now notice I have I have a um, I separated my uh, curly braces to separate lines. It's just for readability. Once you start adding more rules it's better to separate them so you can read them. And what I'll say here is color green semicolon. I'm going to save that. I'm going to close my element inspector. It's got a little close button there. I'm going to refresh. Now I've got my text color on all of my pages in the headers green. Not the footer. I didn't define that. Just the header. That's not what I wanted, but I'm showing you that that's what I need to do to change any element of my of my uh, U, uh, jQuery mobile, of my jQuery mobile project. I'll, I'll load up the element inspector again and now it says okay color green is defined in the codica.external CSS file, line 5. There we go. Okay well I didn't want to change text color. I wanted to change the size of the box so that it's not cut off. That means I will need a brand new margin. You can actually select something that exists here and copy. You have to use the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, Right-clicking, depending on your web browser, may or may not work. But I want to copy margin because I know that's what works on my existing code. 
paste it into the header. And we saw that smaller numbers in the center value uh, give us more space. So this is margin. What is the margin at the top? Uh, the, the right and the bottom of the, of the element. Remember to save your CSS file and then refresh. And now my text is not cut off anymore. And my element inspector shows in the Kodika extra CSS file, line 5, we've got this new rule. You can turn it on and off. So this is a very powerful thing, the element inspector. You want to use this when you're figuring out the uh, what properties you need to edit of any project, especially for something like jQuery Mobile, where it where it um, is very complicated. But with that one little thing, now I do not have my text getting cut off, and everywhere where the text would have cut off, now is not cut off. So on our next videos, we'll see about more styling that we can do to make our project our own unique style.